Hello there folks, these are the hands of me Dan Brown from a sort of interesting life.com and we have got here probably the greatest pop-up book that I have ever seen. This is Alice in Wonderland and that happens to be one of my favourite books of all time. If you've seen my other videos about reading and books and things like that then you'll probably have heard me endlessly talk about my love of Alice in Wonderland but I don't want this video to just be filled with that once again because we're here to focus on this incredible book and as well, I'm sure you can imagine that when you look from a side angle at a book and it looks like that, you know that there's something special waiting in store. So, opening the first page here, you can see that it tends to focus on one big scene and then you have these little booklets that tell you the actual Alice in Wonderland story, which even these themselves have got their own extra pop-up pieces inside, which we'll take a look at a few of in just a minute. But firstly, I think, we'll go through page to page and just see some of these bigger areas. One of the best things that instantly hit me with this was this very first section here that's got this pull-up rabbit hole. And as you can see, there's the white rabbit and Alice running away. And this is the uh, thing, we'll have a look in just a second after we've looked at the main scenes. But that's a lovely little effect to look down as if you're peering into the rabbit hole. If we turn the page, you'll see we come on from iconic scene to iconic scene. And something that I really like about this as well is that these are all completely filled in 360 degrees. And even, you can see, underneath the house where you don't really see from the normal viewing point, has got a floor and mats and things drawn in too. And it's that attention to detail that I think is another nice little touch that you don't have to be viewing it from just one angle. It's all there. And ah, the scene where we first meet the baby that turns into a pig. Um, again, there's a lot going on on these pages. And when I, like I say, when you add in these extra uh, booklet pieces that have got all these extra pieces and moving bits that pop out left, right and centre, it's just well, it just adds to the level of Oh yeah, it's a pop-up book with these great scenes and then also all these extra little things thrown in as you're reading through the story itself. Now, when it comes to iconic scenes, I don't think that anything beats the Mad Hatter's Tea Party, really. For me, at least, uh, the Mad Hatter. The Mad Hatter and I think the Cheshire Cat are two of my favourite characters ever created. And again, you can see here that it's all this 360 degree filled in. Don't have to be looking at it from one angle. I don't know, there's something strange about these um, shiny uh, teacups. But to have all of that fold out from flat to such a perfectly laid table, beautiful. Oh, and fetching up. Ah, this, I think, from the uh, Dis Disney cartoon version, I think that this is a fantastic scene. The um, croquet playing with hedgehogs and flamingos. And when she's trying to get the flamingo to stay to stay straight, but once again, just great stuff. I think that this this is the trial scene at the end of the book. I think that this just as a general pop up piece, even though it's not as elaborate as some of the ones that we've seen previously, this is just it's a beautiful scene somehow. I think the way that there's so many cards sticking at all sorts of angles and. Not just on like sort of layers of these are in the front, these are at the back. You've got them sticking out at literally 45 degree angles, 30 degree angles, straight out forward, straight upwards. It's just another great little piece that it really looks somehow more 3D than it should do somehow. I think this is the sort of thing you could see a picture of on the internet and it wouldn't quite look real, that sort of uh, level of 3D effect. Right, we'll have a quick look at some of the scenes uh, that fold out from inside these little booklets and then we shall wrap things up. We've got the white rabbit there. You'll see there's a lot of movement as well as just general popping up. And that's something that I quite like from these as well. What's on the next page from this? Oh my goodness me. Once again, there's quite a lot going on considering that this is just a small booklet in the main book. Here's another one of my favourite little additions here, painting the white roses red. And you can see that the rose is literally being painted. Again, it's these little bits of motion thrown in that I really enjoy. This is one that I would quite like to share with you as well. 
Not because it's particularly elaborate, but because, I don't know, it just cracks me up the way that the Cheshire Cat suddenly just seems to pop up and out. And just the way that he's drawn and the way he's got his hands, everything about it. Oh, lovely stuff. <laughs> and, of course, we've got the Caterpillar here. A bit of a creepy character, I think, but certainly got a good bit of motion on that page. And to wrap things off, we will end with the rabbit hole effect. Now this obviously is where the adventure begins. If I fetch this up to the camera, then you can see that absolutely fantastic illusion that it creates and Alice there tumbling down and away into goodness knows what adventures will await. Now that I think is a perfect way to end this video. So I'll say thank you very much for watching. This has been completely different to what my normal videos are like. So hopefully you've enjoyed this change of pace. Check out my other videos for a load of random narrowboat life and all sorts of things from the great outdoors. And who knows, maybe some other surprises like this. And of course, until the next time, subscribe, feel free to like the Facebook page, and really, just have a fantastic day. Until the next time, farewell.